How's it going, Jeremiah? In my past two years' experience teaching my students to play the Yamaha PSR E363 and the Yamaha PSR EW300 keyboard since it was launched in April 2017, I found many of my beginner students are making 10 of these big mistakes with their keyboards. Make sure you don't make the same mistakes if you own one of these keyboards or are intending to buy one. At the end of this video, let me know in the comments below how many of these 10 mistakes are you making as a beginner keyboard player with your own keyboard. Your Yamaha PSR E363 and EW300 keyboard comes with more than 500 inbuilt voices right out of the box. If you are just using the default piano voice most of the time, you are really not getting the value for the price you paid for your keyboard. So feel free to experiment with different voices as well as the different techniques to create realism in the different instrument voices. The technique you use to play a piano voice is quite different from the way you play a harmonica, saxophone or even a flute voice. You will be surprised that even various different piano voices will require different techniques due to, to the attack and decay rate of the various voices. One of the ways to create a very lush voice combination is to use dual voice layer on your Yamaha PSR E363 and PSR EW300. Do try out the different combinations to see which instruments go well with each other. Also think about the voice layers from a song arrangement perspective. You might want to start your song with a solo voice and introduce the second voice layer when you reach the chorus of your song. If you do not know how to activate the dual layer mode on your keyboard, do check out the link in my video description to a video manual I made just for these two keyboards. The entire 61 keys on your keyboard does not have to be playing the same voices. The Yamaha PSR E363 and PSR EW300 comes with a keyboard split feature where you can play one voice on your left hand and another voice on your right hand. Some examples are a walking bass on your left hand and a piano voice on the right hand. So do check out the video manual in the description if you do not know how to activate the keyboard split mode. Turning on dual voice layers and keyboard voice splits, you know, it's pretty nice. But on this keyboard, you can take it one extra step further and adjust the volume mix between your different voices as well as the rhythm and accompaniment for a professional polished sound. You want to make sure the rhythm is not drowning out your melody or that the voices are mixed in a way that conveys the mood of your music. I explain how to use these features in my video manual, so do check it out. While the Yamaha PSR E363 and PSR EW300 are entry-level keyboards, it does come with more than 20 different effects that you can use to personalize and craft that perfect sound for your song. Do check out your effects processor section of your PSR E363 and EW300 and listen to how each effect affects the voices. You will be surprised how much you can tweak from the inbuilt sounds to get a unique combination. After you painstakingly make different unique adjustments to your voices, your effects, rhythm and tempo, you don't want to lose all of your personalized settings. Your Yamaha PSR E363 and EW300 comes with 9 registration memory slots for you to save your unique settings for easy one-button recall. Check out my video manual to find out how. These two keyboards are one of the most affordable keyboards that has a built-in USB audio interface. This is a feature that even Yamaha's own flagship $5,000 Genos don't have. 
All you need is the correct USB cable and you can connect your own keyboard to the computer and use a whole bunch of different free digital audio workstation software to make really complex multi-track recordings. With the same USB cable, you can also control a whole bunch of free software virtual instruments on your computer. Many of these free virtual instruments sound way better than those found on the Yamaha PSR E363 and EW300. You don't want to buy the wrong cable though and I have left a link in the description to the correct USB cable for your keyboard. Your keyboard comes with four different velocity curves and if you're not changing the touch sensitivity on the keys of your keyboard, you are missing out on giving your music a beautiful dynamic range. For absolute beginners, you should just start with a fixed touch response and after a few weeks of practice and playing, you can slowly increase the touch response of your keys to get better dynamic range and control of your keyboard voices. Always keep your keyboard away from sunlight as well as dust. Find a spot in your home where you don't have direct sunlight shining at it. Many new owners do not think about this and within just a few months, they find the keys on their keyboard turning yellow and their LCD screen will start to show some signs of damage. It is a good idea to cover your keyboard with a cloth when you are not using it to make sure that it stays good and serviceable for a very, very long time. One of the nice features of the Yamaha PSR E363 and EW300 is that you can use batteries with it. However, I noticed quite a number of students put batteries in their keyboards and forget about the batteries. If you are not operating your keyboard on battery power for more than a few weeks, Always remember to remove the batteries to prevent the batteries from leaking and the acid from the battery from permanently damaging the internal circuitry of your keyboard. I hope you found this information useful for you as a new owner of a Yamaha PSR E363 or PSR EW300. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you soon in my next video.